Hello everybody and welcome back to the fourth HTML video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video I'll be showing you some basic HTML text formatting. And instead of uh, explaining too much I will just get started. So the first thing I want to make is a text that is bold. In order to do so I will first need to make a paragraph. So that I will do. Within this paragraph, I will write, this text is bold. And then I want the bold, this one, to be bold. In order to do so, I will have to use a tag called B for bold. And end it behind bold. Like this. So now this text should be bold. Let's watch it in the browser. And as you can see, the text is now bold. Now I want to make a piece of text that is italic. So I go into my HTML document and I make a paragraph again. Inside this paragraph I write, this text is italic. And the tag for italic is I. Opening tag and a closing tag. So now this text should be italic. Let's watch it in the browser. And as you can see, we also now got a piece of text that is italic. Actually, you can also make a piece of text that is both italic and bold. Uh, let me show you. Again, I create a paragraph. Inside this, I will call this italic bold. And all you need to do is add the two text that we have used above. So first I want to make it bold. And I also want it to be italic. So I also used the italic tag. Like this. And then we view it in the browser. And as you can see we now got a text that is both italic and bold. Often it is also helpful to be able to make line breaks in HTML. So, if I wanted to make a line break, let's say that I have made a paragraph right here. And I type line, line break, line break, and line break. One would maybe think that by making a line break in the source code, would also create a line break uh, when viewed in the browser. But this is actually not the case. As you can see in the browser, it only types out line break, line break, line break. And there actually isn't no line break. So what we need to add is a tag called BR. Let me show you. In here I'll type BR forward slash. That is the tag for line break. I would like to have line breaks all the way down. Like this. Let's view it in the browser. As you can see, we now have line breaks all the way down. So remember that BR is the tag for line break. Sometimes you also want to add some extra space between your words. That is also possible in HTML. I could write more space between 1 and 2. So I want to add space between 1 and 2. In order to do so, I will have to write an AND sign in B is P like that. And because I want a lot of space between them, I will add a lot of these between 1 and 2. Let's try to view this in the browser. As you can see, there is now a lot of space between 1 and 2. Now I then want to make a horizontal line. To do so, I will need a tag that's called HR. So, first of all, I'll make a paragraph. Within the paragraph, I'll type horizontal line. And to get the horizontal line, I'll have to type the HR tag, like that. Let's view this in the browser. As you can see, we now got a horizontal line. Finally, I want to make an comment for myself uh, in my 
is source code. So in order to do so, I'll need to use a common tag. It looks like this. So this is a comment. The comments will not be shown in the browser. So you can use a comment to inform yourself of different things in your source code. If you look at this in the browser, you will see that there is nothing because this is a common and it will not be shown in the browser. Like this. There is nothing. You might think that this styling is a bit boring. There's no colors, there's no font sizes, um, there's no special alignment or anything. But that is all something you need to do with CSS, cascading style sheets. But I will show that in the CSS tutorials. So for now you have to be patient and uh, just learn the HTML first. And that was pretty much the final word for today. If you have any comments or questions, please visit beginnertouch.com um, where you can join our forum. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you soon.